birthday then? Um, today, small. I don't really know. But how long have you been here? Um, ten years. Ten years. Oh, she started graduating a long time ago. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Make sure you meet with your advisors. Please check your webmail. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm eating lunch. I'm in my car alone. Where are your friends? I don't have any. Why don't you join a club? There are clubs? Yeah, we have a lot of clubs. All you have to do is go online. Go to getconnected.edmonton.psu.edu. Wow, thanks. Like this, like when I close my eyes and don't even care. And I, I think of you. Are you listening to the same song as me? Yeah. And I, I think of you. I want to be. This is our journey. Our journey starts now. Swim in the bathroom. Yes, no. no, no, don't swim in the pond. Trust us. Man, it's good. This is better than swimming in the duck pond. There's a test today. What? There's a test today. Can you guys put it in your handbook? No. Please, Please use your handbook. handbook. And textbooks. Don't forget to visit the campus bookstore. Getting to know the faculty and staff here at Penn State Abington is real easy. Right, Marcia? It sure is. Now it's time to remember those top 10 tips. Tip number 10, remember to meet with your advisor because it's important to know when and where to pick your classes and how to do so. Tip number nine, remember to get on Get Connected. See the list of clubs and organizations that we have and get involved. Tip number eight, remember to check your webmail. 
because you always want to find out if class is ever canceled. Don't show up to class if it's not canceled. Remember to meet new people. Here at Penn State Abington, we are a diverse campus and there are tons of new people and new students to meet. Tip number six, it's your journey. No one else's but yours. Tip number five, don't go swimming in a duck pond. Trust us. Tip number four, remember to use your student handbook. It comes in handy when it's time to schedule your classes. When it's time to remember exams and quizzes and tests to take. Tip number three, remember to visit the PSU bookstore. That is where you can get all your Penn State book supplies and that is where you can get your books. Tip number two, get to know the faculty and staff. They will be your best and biggest supporters during your Penn State experience. And lastly, tip number one, remember to remember that Penn State is here. Okay, you need to get done, 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 done at work, come on.